The Washington State Cougars are going to close us out. My favorite coach in this conference. Nick Rolovich. The the leads to Rolovich offensive uh, transition has been pretty smooth thus oh, far. Yeah. Now, they did go one and three last they're year, but they only got to play four but games. They're not a lot different. No, I mean, it's the, the run and shoot thing. Man. Yeah, it's, it's just, yeah, you just yeah. Run, rocket <laughs> fire, baby. It's uh, it, last year was, was a throwaway, basically. Yeah. We talk about that Don't because count. they just had guys out all the time last year. But uh, but went one and three. They went six and seven the year before that in Leach's final season. Um, to win this division, plus 1,400. Probably not going to happen this year, but that's okay. Win total is six. Not bad, right? Minus 125 to go over, uh, minus 105 to go under. So they expect them, you know, more than likely to go over as opposed to the under. Uh, SP Plus has got them going six and six. FBI, however, has them at five and seven. Um, the offense already had weapons for quarterback Jaden DeLora, uh, but they, they brought in a bunch of P5 transfers to kind of help, you know, but the, I, I don't think the offense was the issue. And I don't think that it's going to be the issue. So long as Rolovich is there, he'll That's be right. able to find a way to score points. That's right. The defense, however, ranked number one Oh eight in efficiency in 2020. Um, they were able to create half a place. This is another one of those that's super aggressive and whatnot, but kind of let some things get away from them. Uh, they brought in four transfers to help improve from the number 117 success rate defense. Like, the efficiency was putrid. Uh, still not a lot of talent there. They're going to have to outscore teams to be able to win. And, you know, while it does help for their non-conference to include uh, Utah State and Portland State, they do also have BYU. And and I think that they can beat BYU. Yeah. But, cool. I got that as a coin flip game. But I do think getting over six wins is going to be difficult. I, I completely agree with that. So while I love Rolovich, I am going to go under the six, especially when it's used at minus 105. Yeah. Like, I just I don't see it's, where the wins are. It's scary as hell when I think their ceiling's probably seven, right? Like, yeah. If it's the best-case scenario, but I'm still going over. I'm not betting against Rolovich. Are you crazy? <laughs> Rolo's going to take this team on a run. They're going to beat teams they're not supposed to beat. You they love big everybody Rolovich. They, they are supposed to be. That is the way it goes. That is the way it goes. All right. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com. And if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at GaryWCE, at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.